I will focus on these two aspects later and then. So both in, create, both in reducing our dependence and in creating jobs, there are low hanging fruit. And the long hanging fruit is conservation. In Israel, 50% of the peak electric power is used for air conditioning. This means that better insulation, which is on the way, very late, but on the way now, finally. This is simple jobs. You know, I'm not speaking just new houses, but insulate old houses, replacing, uh, replacing as already done in many countries, the bulbs with more bulbs, all this aspect of making our country more sustainable and less depending on on imports and less uh, polluting is creating simple next step is as you know high tech information technology communication and so on is developed in israel and there is a whole field of energy management smart meters and everything that all the young people that deal with social network can use the same algorithms a smart uh, grid and this is let's say intermediate type of environment which is already using using things which we another step in it is as you know israel uh, was leading the world in uh, drip irrigation and there is a whole business of how to save water before we desalinate water there is a lot of infrastructure both in israel and other places to to repair because there are huge leaks of water like waste of electricity and there are companies in israel who already do business there is another short relatively short term companies which make the use of photovoltaic more efficient, like Ed is a company which uh, was uh, in which G there are other companies in this field. And the last thing is about the future. And future, I just want to quote somebody a little bit about physics, and this is the secretary of the press, Stephen Chu. First of all, he said, you know, let's save energy. The U.S. are using 40% of the energy. He's also not far from it. <clears throat> but he said for the future, the solution is not a Manhattan project and not project. The future solutions in will come from a Silicon Valley approach come from an Apollo project or Manhattan project, Israel wouldn't have any room there. You know, this is for the big boys. US, China, Europe, whatever. But if it's Silicon Valley, you know, we are sometimes called, we have to be careful not to get excited about it, that we are also a Silicon Valley. And therefore, there is huge opportunity there also simple jobs which could quickly reduce our dependence make the environment cleaner all the things uh, we are a small and mostly country like that we don't use more bicycles and we use the with the rain to use bicycles it's kind of so this immediate is of also producing jobs and for the future experience and uh, infrastructure which was created by high tech which subcontractors to uh, to services ip whatever and uh, <coughs> using all this infrastructure in fundamentals like electricity and water will make economy more sustainable and create jobs.